Hello friends, today we'll learn about influenza and pneumonia. You're not looking well, buddy. Ah, you have a runny nose. Runny nose, fever, cough, muscle and joint pain, sore throat and headache are some common symptoms of influenza. RT-PCR, or other molecular assays, are used for detection of influenza viruses in the respiratory specimens. You can spread the flu even before you know you're sick. Beginning one day before symptoms develop, and up to five to seven days after becoming sick. When people with flu cough, sneeze, or talk, then mainly flu viruses spread by droplets. So if you have flu, you should stay at home and rest. Avoid close contact with well people in your house. Providers can treat the flu with antiviral medications under certain circumstances. Influenza is a common cause of pneumonia especially among the elderly, pregnant women, younger children, or those with certain chronic health conditions. Most cases of flu never lead to pneumonia, but those that do tend to be more severe and deadly. With a weakened immune system, your body may not be able to get over the foreign bacteria and viruses. This is how those with influenza can easily turn their flu into pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection that causes inflammation in the lungs. Most people with pneumonia respond well to treatment, but it can be very serious and even deadly. Now you look fine. Let's have a look at the differences between influenza and pneumonia. Influenza is a viral infection, while pneumonia is a lung infection that can develop from either a bacterial or viral infection. The flu tends to come on suddenly, while pneumonia develops more slowly. The flu is often accompanied by muscle aches or pains and fatigue. Pneumonia symptoms tend to be respiratory related. There are some serious symptoms that could be signs of pneumonia, such as congestion or chest pain, difficulty breathing, a fever of 102 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, coughing up yellow, green, or bloody mucus or spit. Pneumonia can affect one or both lungs. Pneumonia in both of your lungs is called bilateral or double pneumonia. A chest x-ray is often used to diagnose pneumonia. Mild pneumonia can usually be treated at home with rest, antibiotics, and by drinking plenty of fluids. More severe cases may need hospital treatment. Getting vaccinated against bacteria and viruses is the best way to prevent influenza and pneumonia. There are also everyday precautions you can take to help reduce your risks. Eat a healthy diet, exercise regularly, and get enough rest. Hand washing removes germs and chemicals from your skin and can help stop people picking up infections and spreading them to others. So wash your hands with soap and water before eating, before handling food, and after using the restroom. Avoid close contact and sharing items with other people. Quit smoking and avoid alcohol consumption. Don't hesitate to get medical attention when your body is telling you that something isn't right. Now, you know a lot about influenza and pneumonia. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.